What's up everybody? Welcome back to Mike's Tool Shed. Um, I'm just doing a follow-up video here of my Fluke T6 Dangerous Piece of Shit 600. Um, <laughs> uh, as many of you know, AV did a video on this and he made some claims about it that I don't agree with. And I'm not doing this to call him out or say that he's dumb or suggest anything. I just, I don't know why he he explained it the way he did and and he's a smart guy and he has a lot of technical knowledge and I don't think he was mistaken I think he purposely left some details out and I think he purposely misrepresented it for whatever reason he did speak highly of fluke but he just hates this meter and I kind of hate it I don't hate the meter I hate the the field sense that's what we're talking about here the field sense technology I thought it was cool I like to try new things, and um, after having it for a couple weeks, it, it, it kind of sucks. There's no practical use for it. Uh, the execution of it's poor. It doesn't work all the time, and I, but I don't think it's dangerous. After that video, after he released that video, I got a ton of comments. Dude, watch AVE's video. He said it's dangerous. Be careful. Don't kill yourself. And I kept having to respond to him. I, you know, I don't think it's dangerous. Um, I was thinking the same thing when I first got this. The way that it works, I saw a potential danger in it, and, and I tested it, and and nothing. I was like, okay, cool. There's some mystery safety feature in this thing. They thought of that, obviously. I'm not smarter than a fucking fluke engineer. And um, I went about my day. And why he said the things about it, I don't understand. But I'm going to prove right now that it's not dangerous. Unless he left out something he was thinking. You know, there's more to his thought process than what he said in the video, but... What was on the surface, it's not dangerous. So the field sense technology, the way this works, is you put your wire in here much like you would amp probe it, but you need to ground the black lead so you can touch it to a known ground, or option B is put it in the meter and that there's some sort of connection, some sort of coupling between the tip of this probe and this contact pad and you're supposed to touch the pad. And what I found out is that the best way to do it is to touch this to a ground, put the wire in there. It's gotta be right on that little that little tit right there or it doesn't work. I agree that this zone here, this target is dumb and it, it, it doesn't work. I'm probably never gonna use this feature. But you put the wire in there, put that on there. You get some kind of coupling here and then you touch this with your hand. Then you can touch a ground with the other hand and it gives you uh, within plus minus three percent accurate reading so the first thing I thought of I wonder if there's actual electrical continuity between these because if so that's not good that means if you have your red probe in an outlet it's gonna be looking for a source to ground through the black probe so if you're grounded and touch that you're gonna get it I tested con the first thing I did with this is I put it on continuity and let's prove that it works Continuity, push it up in there, and that little tip touches a little spring-loaded contact, and nothing. It's still on continuity. It, there's no continuity. And I don't understand, and I don't have as technical of a knowledge of small electronics and stuff like this. I don't know why there isn't continuity, and you need to touch this, but I know that there's no electrical continuity there. So what he did, and what he demonstrated, and, and tried to, I guess, scare people into not buying this, it is a shitty feature. Don't buy this meter. It, just get the T5. It's, it's a gimmicky, stupid feature. But what he did is he took the hot lead, and he stuck it in the ground, or stuck it in the hot, rather. And then he took another meter. Here, I got my other fluke. Let's turn the light on on that. And you see that. All right, and then we have a ground here, and then we have, so if I touch the ground and this pad, get 20, oh, that's fucking, it's not volts, here we go, AC volts, touch the contact pad, touch the ground, get 74 volts, and I noticed in his video, he was only getting like 106 volts, and I'm like, yeah, that's really weird, I don't know what's inside here, but it's not, uh, it's not a resistor, I don't think, and it's not definitely a solid metal connection. There's no continuity. So look, contact pad, he's saying that's the that's the lawsuit waiting to happen, the, the, the voltage you're getting through there and then it could shock you. Well, here's my hand. Nothing. I'm touching the pad, I'm touching the ground. Nothing. I don't know what's in here. I can show you. 
Oh, by the way, here, just, just so nobody thinks I'm up to anything. Continuity. Beep, 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 beep. Ground to the outlet. That's This is jammed into the ground prong of, uh, of my outlet. So ground to that. I did not get the 74 volts. I didn't get anything. I didn't even get a little tingle. So what he... What he was referring to is, I, I, I don't know, I don't understand. I don't know why he left it out. I know he understands it and knows that it's not dangerous. Like I said, unless he left something out. But if you look at this closely, you see that there is a spring-loaded thingamabob up inside here. And you can see when I push that up in there, that's the thing. And then this goes from this metal slug that's in there to a spring. Let's see if I can get some better, better lighting here. Goes to a spring, and then this is metal, and then this appears to be some kind of ribbon, and then it goes down behind this. Here's the contact pad under this rubber thing. This is all sealed in plastic. I would love to know what's in here and dissect the whole thing. I really don't want to totally destroy the meter, but they've sealed all of this pretty much inside. So I don't know what's in there. You don't get electrical continuity, but it does make the thing work. That's it. Um, I grounded myself out, I touched this pad with this red lead in an outlet, and nothing happened. Um, like I said, there's some kind of mystery shit going on inside this, inside this thing. Like I said, it turned, it looks like it turns into a ribbon, and I'm thinking maybe it's a very tight, tight, tight inductive coil, so that there is um, voltage induction, ghost voltage, eddy current, but it's not really there. It's not, it didn't hurt me. 74 volts, I would have felt that if if I was legitimately grounded and there was 74 volts here, uh, but those ghost currents or, or ghost voltages don't, um, they don't hurt, you can't feel them. And it can trick a digital meter. It will not trick a mechanical uh, solenoid type meter, but it will trick one of these digital ones, unless you get a real expensive one. Um, I imagine if I used a cheaper meter, it probably would have said 120. There is, um, there is circuitry in this meter that tries to decipher the uh, ghost voltage, or whatever it's called, inductive voltage. Um, so it doesn't, but I bet if you used a cheap meter, it would say 120 on there. <coughs> That's it. Uh, I'm not trying to call him out. not trying to call him stupid. I don't know why he left that out, really. Um, he had to have taken this apart, in, or he had to have taken this A part and uh, looked at the innards of wah, but uh, he left it all out and called it dangerous. I don't know if he was just upset that Fluke, like, called him out, because the way that the, he, he was using it in the first video, um, I, I was watching it. I'm like, that's not going to work. That's the, it, the, the feature sucks. The feature's a piece of shit. The way you're doing it doesn't is not going to work. He was trying to use the the Klein. Um, it lets you plug it into an outlet and then amp probe whatever is on that outlet, and that, that is not going to work with this thing. This feature sucks. It's it's very finicky. But I, yeah, he said he got called out or somebody uh, in polite corporate speak called him a fucking idiot. But uh, I don't know why. It's not dangerous. There it is. That was ground. That had 74 volts on it, and I'm fine. So. That's it. Uh, like I said, not trying to call him out or call him stupid, but I don't know why he said that this was so dangerous. It's a dumb feature. Don't get this meter. Uh, I, I, if I ever find an awesome use for it, I will let you know, but I uh, have yet to, that has yet to happen. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and uh, 